I think, first of all, a lot of visitors to the Outer Banks don't realize just how special the North Carolina region is. Because what we have here is we have this Gulf Stream influence, which is really one of the main physical oceanographic features that are off our coastline. And what that means is that we have this conveyor belt of this warm, tropical, clear water that's right off our coastline. And it really moderates the temperatures a lot. But not only that, but it also means that the community, the fish community offshore, is actually going to be um, quite tropical or subtropical. What's interesting about this region, and what I think makes it so dynamic, is that we are at the transition zone between tropical and temperate waters. So, some, so Cape Hatteras is the limit, it's a zoogeographic limit, so naturally speaking, you're going to get this convergence of tropical and temperate species. And you really only get that in a few places in the whole world. And this represents one of them. If you go out in the, in the waters off Hatteras, there's a few areas of, of, of hard bottom uh, limestone outcroppings uh, with some corals and things on them, but most of it's just sand. You really don't see a lot, it's like a desert. And then you hit a shipwreck, and all of a sudden it's like this oasis of life. And you've got big sharks and little sharks and grouper and corals and sponges, and the whole thing is just a, a, a palette of color. The number and the size and the diversity of fishes is really unparalleled. I believe that the structure of the wrecks, the relief that you see in the water column is so much greater that it really attracts a lot of the midwater pelagics much more. They're schooling around trying to feed on the bait fishes. And then you get all the benthic dwelling fishes as well, like the typical coral reef species that are just going to be staying on the bottom oriented to the structure itself. So they are great ecosystems, great habitat. Hatteras Island is known widely for its diverse bird population, and Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge is just especially known as a birder's paradise. And the primary reason being is that the refuge provides uh, exceptional high quality habitat for migratory birds and it's also a stopover point for birds during migration. The primary birds you find at Pea Island are shorebirds and waterfowl. Pea Island National Wildlife Refuge may be known as a birder's paradise, but there's a lot of other wildlife on the refuge uh, in addition to birds. We have three freshwater ponds where our wintering waterfowl uh, can be found. And in those ponds, we have marine life, we have freshwater life, including uh, freshwater turtles, uh, river otters, but then over on the beach we have uh, sea turtles. In the, in the summertime, uh, loggerhead and green sea turtles come on shore to nest, and occasionally we even get a stranded whale or uh, seals or other marine mammals. Conservation and protection of, of habitat is important because we have to think in terms of uh, not just us and our generation, but I think we have to think of future generations so that they can enjoy all the, the uh, beauty and the wildlife species that we've been able to enjoy for our lives.